Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Parapsychology Department looking for zombies. But also, the hiss are here. That guy did not have a great day. Sure is a lot of resonance in here today. I turned that guy's head into confetti. All right, I just need to find doors and stuff. Doors and stuff with uh. Why is that one missing a chair? Did I pick that chair up and throw it at someone just now? Or is this one still gone? I didn't think you physically went anywhere, but I don't fucking know. Or hey, maybe this is one of the ones that turned into those bad guys, huh? Huh. I wonder if any of these have, uh, the former on them. Could have been a person in the corner, but no. I just love that it's, like, the least intuitive method to get information about something ever. I also suppose that means that Jesse is technically left standing around. We have been in here, yes? This is the one that I found first, I believe. Yes, yes, with the tanks. Okay, cool. There's another way out of here, is there? Hey, let's try the hypnosis lab. That sounds cool. And not at all fucking sinister. I'm gonna just hang out in the air for a while now that I've upgraded a levitate all the way. Oh, that reminds me. Uh... I learned the name of one of my abilities that I hadn't previously known, thanks to the loading screen tip I uh, got l uh, today, getting into the game. Once you have Fracture, all weapon forms are able to destroy crystal growths. So that's neat. Yes, that's right, this is where I got the x-ray box. Everything was just staring at it, and it was very creepy. I don't see any mold, though. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astromark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. I was never clear on that. I guess what they do in the other room is they plug the guy into the chair. They hand him uh, an altered item or an object of power. Him or her, I should say. Uh, and... They just... I don't know. I, I mean, I, I guess it's like when Jesse first picks up an artifact, her mind goes to the astral plane to learn how to use it. But they make it seem like they just do it over and over again to the same ones. And I don't know, maybe it's because Jesse hasn't put it down yet. Hmm. Finding any zombies in here. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, no, I did that, didn't I? Right, it has to be in around Parasite... 
psychology. It's a very popular room. You're not alive anymore. Oh no, even at level 3 I don't like those things very much. You know what? That's only slightly less unsettling when I know for a fact it's not going to target me. Hey! Oh no, it's the one I found first. Duh. Oh, well, up there, on the other hand. No, up there, not up yours. That was very rude of you, by the way. Staircase. <gasps> Why is this door even open? Did I leave this open? That thing better still be in there, or I'm gonna be mad. Alright, alright. So, off to the Ritual Division, I guess. Which is... Where's the nearest waypoint? I'm gonna just get out that way. I seem to remember there being a thing this way. No, I can't get out that way, because of course it's reinforced glass. This is where they keep the spike. Fine, I'll just open the door again. Over by the big brain, that's right. You know, the first time I stepped into this room, I sort of wrote this section right here off as an art thing, and then I remembered. Ooh. Ritual Division and Central Research, that's right. Health elements. I do like that there's no uh, attempt to explain the health elements. They're just dots. They heal you. Sometimes they give you money. Reminds me, I need to figure out where that door I could never get into was. The the one of these that was full of mold. Is this the one? No, I didn't think it would be. But, you know, it would have been nice and convenient. I think I'd have been making notes or something since I couldn't figure out where they came from. Lots of protective studies down there, so I'll just keep looking around here first.
Yeah, this does not strike me as hugely uh, helpful. No. It's funny that in this game, you can show off just by standing still. That's mold, there's a zombie in the bathroom. Well, I guess everybody's gotta go. Ow. Nope. Oh, I didn't even see you. To the bathroom! I hope you're decent under all that mold, because otherwise it's supposed to be even more awkward than it already is. Rest in peace, you poor bastard. to luck and probability. Well, I could peek, I guess, since I'm standing right here. It's not a very big area. Uh, okay, good. Oh, yes, a, a few people have hit put extremely vague hints saying that the, uh, the Maneki Neko statue I found in the Foundation... Apparently... There are eight extremely obtuse puzzles scattered throughout the Foundation, and none of them are labeled. If you can figure... You know, when you figure one of the puzzles out, a statue appears. You get all eight of the statues, and you get... something. <laughs> I don't know. Just something hinted to be important. Oh, this is a lamp. Sure, sure. Did I miss a piece of paper? You could never pick up any of the other like, one-off pieces of paper. Oh, that is weird. You steer the other way. Wait a minute. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Only one bathroom over there, and it's for men. Surely if you're only going to put one bathroom there, it should be unisex. Oh! Wait! I, was, I, I said, well, I guess I should probably look, and then I realized, oh, there actually is mold right here. Oh, God, I really need to stop that thing before it finds the mirror. It would be something like if this was a puzzle, and then I could complete it and get the, uh, the Maneki Neko statue. Maneki Neko? Neko, yes. Neko. Not Neku. Oh, god damn it! Oh, hey. Oh, no, that's what's banded on. Of course. Yeah, this is the room where we first got a good look at, uh, Essege, you will remember, in the other dimension. So, of course, there's a fucking episode of Threshold Kids here. 
Come to think of it, I think there was an episode of Threshold Kids in the other dimension, but I was surprised it didn't play backwards. Is that what this is going to be? This angle doesn't help, really. Since little Topher is taking a trip with his father into the world outside our wonderful bureau, I think it's a good time to talk about secrets. Wait, you can tell me what we a have... secret is. Uh, it's something you hide from everyone so they don't get scared. It's just something we've already seen, isn't it? Well, we wouldn't be able to watch it if... I don't know. A secret is something you don't tell anyone outside the bureau. Because people outside the Bureau... ...aren't ready for the truth of reality. Very good. When you tell someone a secret, you're hurting their brains very badly. Now, let's review what exactly is or isn't a secret. First, we have a rainbow. Secret or not secret? Not secret! Correct. Happy June, by the way. And a true version of rainbows? <laughs> secret! Correct. Cats? Not secret! Correct. And the Alpine Chimera? Not secret! Too many slip-ups and your father will have to go on vacation without you. You don't want to end up like Meg, do you? What? What happened to Meg? I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. Well, that's done. I guess we can watch it after. It's my mistake. I have a thought on that, but I guess I'll have to wait till after I waste these guys. Oh, well. Yes, uh, shout out to Derek Floyd before we go. Who left a comment? I'm just going to read out word for word, which is very clearly meant to be bait on a hook. Boy, yeah, this was regarding the last one we found about the, uh, the, the building shifts where Topher was very clearly, uh, freaking out and having PTSD. Uh, if these Threshold Kids videos are this bad, or no, are, are bad, then I wonder how bad the rejected episode on top of a pillar near the Astral Tower PE control point in the Foundation had to be. Oh boy. So we've got that to look forward to. Maybe it is in predictive stories. Is that mold, or just the way this hallway looks? No, it's just the way this hallway looks. How about down here?
Hey, I don't suppose you've seen the living dead around here any time recently? You and Hedron were never one and the same. She... It helped Darling with the HRAs to slow the hiss down. And it helped me learn to tap into this power I had inside. You. Hmm. Where did you attend school? MIT. How about you? Also MIT. That was weird. The subtitles displayed the letters of MIT as single initials, and then immediately cut to another line with one more initial on it. And that's just weird. That's very weird. Alright, there's the timer. There's, uh, more zombies to be hunted down. No! when it moves around, I find it interesting. There's a levitating chair just there. So these things affect the items around them? I guess one way to find out would be to wait until this thing drains completely and see if the chairs fall. So Ooh. I never noticed those thumbprint looking smudges appearing in the resonance before. Okay, another visual indicator to look out for. Great! That uh, probably sounded sarcastic. I did not mean it that way. It's anything that helps me realize one of those things is nearby is something good in my book. Yes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Control when we uh, get back to hunting zombies and prepare for the last leg of our journey. Later!